Hey everybody, Hatcher here with Gaming News, Reviews and Tips, GNRT, and today we've got some content for our VR users out there. And if you're like me, you're probably trying to optimize uh, your VR settings in order to get the best performance uh, and also the best looks. Now Lucas has a very popular video on how to optimize your VR settings and one of the main things that he recommends is installing a mod for VR shaders. Now, if you're like me and some of the other users that have tried to install this, uh, I had a little bit of trouble, mostly because I wasn't familiar with how to enable mods in DCS World. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can go ahead and do that. So first things first, you're gonna need a copy of Jonesoft Generic Mod Enabler, uh, JSGME for short, not a great acronym, but hey, it works. This will allow you to turn the mod on so that DCS World is recognizing it. So you can go ahead and download this file. Now, once you have it downloaded, uh, what you're gonna need to do is right click and go ahead and create a shortcut. In this case, it's gonna create a second shortcut for me. Then you can put that on your desktop or put it in whatever file you want it to be in. Uh, this is going to allow you to, when you open this up, it'll allow you to turn on and turn off different mods. But before we do that, we need to uh, set up the different parameters for it and it doesn't automatically do that when you open. So instead you do it this way, right click and go to properties and don't worry about the target. The target is gonna be wherever the file location is, but you want it to start in a particular location. And if you look over here on Lucas's uh, video, you can see that you need it to start in DCS World. So go to whatever drive, uh, your copy of DCS World or the beta is installed in. So this is where mine is located. If I uh, just click in here and then right click, I can copy it and then go back on over. And then you're gonna paste that in here. Okay, and so then you'll be good. So you can go ahead and apply that and okay. Next step, uh, and this is an important step, just as Lucas says, make sure that you have your VR shaders uh, in your DCS World folder inside the mods folder. So it should be in here, all right? So now if we go back over to this and we go ahead and run it, yes. Uh, now it's asking us what folder we want it to look in. We've put it in the mods folder. So that's this, this will be the folder that uh, uh, Jonesoft, the mod enabler will be looking. So let's just go ahead and change that to the same name that we see here, mods and okay. And now you can pop, uh, you see it's popped up and it's showing all the different folders that are in here. So if I wanna turn this particular mod on, I just click it and then enable selected mod and it is now activated. So then we'd be all set up and ready to go. So hopefully this little video tutorial on how to use the generic mod enabler uh, to get your VR shaders recognized by DCS will help you out. Um, and good luck and we'll see you in game.